Welcome to another Bucket Teacher tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you how to add a plugin to your plugins folder found in your Minecraft server folder. Right here, as you can see on my screen, you can see the plugins folder at the very top. And we're going to show you how to add a, um, your first plugin to your Bucket server. And the plugin I'm going to be adding today is a permissions plugin because that's probably one of the most important plugins that you need on your bucket server. Let a uh, permissions plugins allows you to um, modify what each rank or what each player is able to do on your server, what commands they can use, what they can build, what items they can use, and etc. So to start off, we're going to want to open our web browser and head on over to plugins.bucket.org and this will take you to a screen that looks like similar to this most likely and you'll see all categories over here we're not going to mess with categories today and then you'll see a bunch of play a list of plugins and we're going to want to search permissions x right I'll have it in the comments if you can't read on the screen this is my preferred permissions um, plugin there's many more out there B permissions permissions bucket the official permissions so let's go ahead and click on permissions X and it'll take you to their form page so here we are at the permission X form page and the next thing we're gonna want to do is um, scroll down until you see the download section you're want, and you're going to want to click on stable version you can go ahead and download the development version it's mostly stable if you want to try it I'm not sure what new features come with it but you can go ahead and try it it shouldn't affect what you do in this tutorial so I'm going to go ahead and download the stable version of, of permission X so it's down here installing comes in a zip file so once that's done installing you can exit out of your browser and you're going to want to have your minecraft server folder open and then you're going to locate your permissions zip file that you just downloaded so let me see if I can find mine here's all my needs here it is here's my zip file so you'll see um, four jar files in this zip file um, chat manager modify world and per permissions and permission X chat manager will allow you to add prefixes to your ranks and color code them if you'd like and many more add suffixes um, it works with a lot of plugins and then modify world it's both of these are an option you don't have to install either one of them if you would like if you use a different chat manager or a different or a different prefix manager or suffix manager you can just disable this and also you can disable this if you don't want to um, modify world is a um, it allows you to specify the what you want to do or let your players do this will allow them to either build or not to build allow them to place buckets of water we're not let them place bucks of water and many more features and permission X is the you need you definitely need permissions and the permissions X otherwise it um, the permissions will not work so let's double click on our plugins folder in your minecraft server folder so you can see it's empty but not for long you want to drag all four of these files if you want them but for this tutorial I would because you can always disable them in the config file so once you drag them over there you'll have four jar files but now we need to run our server so go ahead and press the back button and double click the run.bat file just like we did in our last tutorial and this will go through everything set up permissions and it will load the worlds again and while that's um, loading the worlds, we can go ahead and click on our plugins folder again. And you'll see it has created a permission X folder. 
and this will hold your config file and your permissions and that's where you can configure your permissions and this will give you some options and a chat manager and a modify world um, folder should be popping up very soon and if it doesn't um, you probably just have to restart the server again we'll wait until this is done almost done yep see now we got our chat manager folder and our modify world folder this um both of these folders have their own config file in them and this is where you can disable them if you don't want them or you can just remove the jars if you want if you don't want them at all in your um, server folder so that's all I'm going to show you for this tutorial next tutorial I'm going to show you how to config them um, set up permissions I'm sure a lot of you guys have problems setting up permissions they can be kind of confusing because you have to have the right spacing um, they're in a .yml format so they're a little confusing to for beginners and I'll be showing that off in the next tutorial so subscribe and thanks for watching and I hope this helped you guys out for installing your first plugin